Now, divisibility of 10 is probably by far the most easiest out of all the divisibility tests. Okay, now that's because uh, all you need to do is look at the last number or the last digit and see if it is zero. So if the last digit of my number is zero, then the whole number is divisible by 10. So for example, 580, okay, the last digit is zero, then this is divisible by 10. 3000, this one is also ends in a zero, so this is also div divisible by 10. Same with this one, 3660 has a zero at the end, so last digit is zero, then that means this whole number is divisible by 10. 9200, this one again as well, last digit is zero, so it's divisible by 10. Okay, so we can see why divisibility of 10 is the easiest divisibility test. Okay, we're just seeing if the last digit is zero or not. So, if we test whether each number is divisible by 10, this should be fairly straightforward. So 330, okay, the last digit is zero. Okay, then this is divisible by 10. This number is not, uh, does not have zero as its last digit. Okay, then 213 is not divisible by 10. This one, the last digit is zero here. Okay, so this one is divisible by 10. This, this number ends in a six, so last digit is not zero. Okay, so this is not divisible by 10. Oh, the last digit in this number is zero. So then this one is divisible by 10, then the whole number is divisible by 10. No, oh, sorry, the last digit is zero. Uh, 6,444, obviously the last digit is 4 and it's not a 0, okay, then this is not obviously, obviously not divisible by 10. 810, we can see last digit is 0, so this one has a last digit of 0, so it's divisible by 10. And finally, uh, 20,005, the last digit is 5, okay, so last digit is not 0, okay, then this number, 20,005, is not divisible by 10.